ungeschminkt is the topic. Note to myself, love yourself. Now, what did I want to say on this blog about ungeschminkt? Actually, now I'm doing a blog, right? Ungeschminkt. I was wondering how to translate ungeschminkt into English. It actually means with no makeup, but implies the naked truth. No cosmetics to cover up the imperfections, like my red nose. My hair's got so long now, and I've had it up the last couple of days. I sprayed some hair oil on it a couple of days ago, and now when I let it down, it looks so nice and shiny and full of body in the bathroom. Since the menopause, my hair has become so dry and frazzled, but using this hair oil has been a real boost. A couple of weeks ago, I bought three cans of oil hairspray from DM. It also has a lovely coconut scent, which really gives me a psychological boost. I was at the dentist this week and got new front teeth. I haven't told anybody, but now every time I look in the mirror, I'm so much happier. I had to look at my broken, crumbling, graying teeth, and now I have a smile with shiny, polished white pearls in my top gum. I'm still doing the Stoffwechsel Kur and after two weeks, I'm now where I was when I last finished the Stoffwechsel Kur at 93 something kilo. In the shower this morning, I determined I want to be able to see my pubic hair without having to hold my stomach in with my hand. Oh God, this takes me off on a tangent about all the spam mail I've been receiving lately. I just deleted, but it is so annoying. It can really be traumatizing. Should I write about what I get? Should I tell you what, what, what's in the text of the mails? So revolting. It is so insanely perversely sexual and intimidating. But writing about pubic hair reminded me, psychoterror and stalking are surely some of the most underestimated sources of emotional stress. As I said, I just delete them, but some days I get nearly a hundred of them. It started in October, just a month ago, and I wonder what sparked it off. Makes me hesitate to post anything because I think, okay, I should avoid public notice. But on the other hand, I think I've got to get out there and tell my story and give hope and encouragement to good people to do good things and become visible, as Katie Snape told me this week. The heat is not on at the moment, but the sun is shining through the bedroom window. I love this time of day when I can sit at my desk that's only in the morning with the sun shining on my back. It doesn't it does interfere with the screen visibility though, so it's not really actually shining through the window right this minute. Sometimes I need to pull the curtains to be able to read what is on the screen. The blue tits were flying in swarms this morning to collect the seeds from our bedroom window ledge. They are so far, so cute and so lively. And he left for Italy this morning. I was still lying in bed when Joseph came to ask whether I want to get up to say something before he leaves. Then after he left, we prayed and Joseph just come here and I'm in the middle of recording. Ah! 